All right, folks. Welcome back. Um, I'm using uh, Ubuntu 9.10 to make this video. I've switched from Windows XP, Windows Vista, Windows 7 to Ubuntu 9.10. I like it a lot. It's really good for uh, people who are educators like me to record the desktop environment and you know basically get a great deal on. Uh, an operating system that can do something like this. If you'll notice uh, over, this is always weird for me to point on a webcam when the image is absolutely in the opposite place. If you'll look over here, I've got a uh, an image of a TI-83 calculator. Now, if, if you pay closer attention, this TI-83 calculator actually works. It's just not a picture. It's an actual piece of software. Uh, someone, uh, some uh, programmer has wrote code so we can interact um, on a Linux or with a PC using this program. If you're interested in getting a TI-83 to use, uh, make sure you have your own TI-83 available. Um, that's what I I used. I dumped the ROM from my TI-83 onto here so I could use it. Um, but anyway, uh, if you need the software to test it out and everything I've got it available on my website to show you the URL uh, that you need to type in it's right here www.whitwellhigh.com uh, forward slash ti83.zip and you can download the program and install it you can use uh, use it to install with wine or you can just install it using Windows so let me go ahead and show you the whole purpose of this video the whole purpose of this video is to show you how to correctly type in um, scientific notation and multiply and divide with them. I see a lot of students making mistakes. Uh, and this is usually uh, the faults of both math and science teachers not teaching the students the difference. Uh, let me show you what I'm uh, talking about. So look over, look over here at the uh, calculator. Um, oftentimes we're taught uh, to type in, say, 2.5 and we want to say it's times 10 to the third. Well a lot of math teachers will teach their kids to type in times 10 raised to the third and they'll tell them to multiply by let's say something else say 3.1 times 10 to the uh, I don't know let's just say to the uh, fourth Okay, then the the math teachers and some science teachers would tell them to hit enter. Now when they do this, they get this number here. Now I'll be honest with you. This is the incorrect way of using scientific notation uh, in this situation. You really shouldn't be plugging in times 10 to the third or times 10 to the fourth. The way that you should really enter this is the following, 2.5 and then hit the yellow button second and then hit the comma button notice you get a uh, a squish down capital E okay that stands for exponential form so you can just then type a 3 after it so notice that this 2.5 times 10 to the third is really just summed up in 2.5 E3 okay so then you hit times and the other number is this 3.1 so 3 Point one times ten, so we hit second comma, ba boom, and then we type four. Hit enter. Notice that we get the same answer. At first, you're like, well, what's the difference? The difference comes about when you do division. It becomes a problem. Uh, what's this? Say we take these same two numbers, uh, two point five. Okay, whoops. Gotta love technology. So you have two point five. Uh, times 10, so we hit times 10 raised to the third. Okay, now let's say we divide that by this 3.1 times 10. Whoops, my bad. Times 10, I'm so used to using the other one. Times 10 raised to the power of 4. Now watch this. Notice that we get that number. That's an incorrect answer that you see uh, whoop, over here. That's incorrect. That is wrong. 
and you're going to have to put that numerator in parentheses and that denominator in parentheses creating much more work uh, so you would have to type in basically a set of parentheses then that uh, 2.5 so to make it easier on ourselves well actually on me I'm gonna hit second and enter to recopy everything that I just did and then I wanna hit second insert parentheses you have to include parentheses on this and this becomes a hassle whoops second insert parentheses divided by I need to get rid of that weird looking symbol parentheses again then close parentheses and finally the correct answer will display that's the correct answer but watch what happens when we use the time uh, the times 10 using the second comma fun, uh, option See, we have 2.5 second comma there's the E and then type the 3 hit divide and then 3.1 times 10 so you hit second comma again and that was to the fourth power up here so to the fourth and press enter notice I didn't have to worry about parentheses there now if you had more than one scientific notation number in the numerator you would have to use parentheses but if you're if you just have two numbers this is great I think it's a lot better than typing uh, times 10 to the uh, whatever power that that's my opinion, but I I think it's better than you know having students to type times ten to the third or times ten to the fourth you know, raised and all that crap when you could just tell them to hit second comma. It's a lot better. It's a time saver. Plus the calculator is going to display it if it's set up for scientific mode anyway, showing that little shrunken down pinch down capital E. So I think we should just show students this and tell them not to use times ten raised to that power. That's just my opinion that's my suggestion so anyway I hope this video was helpful to some of you and just watch it again and use my suggestion about you know using second comma alright guys I hope it helped